welcome to this author interview series. My name is Antje Fiet and I'm an associate editor of the Journal of Small Business Management. I have the great pleasure today to talk with Dr. Anna Zuragri and Professor Zach Zacharakis about their research on how venture capitalists perceive failure in the entrepreneurial journey. The research has been conducted by them together with their colleague, Professor Regis Corderoy. Anna is an affiliate professor at ESCP Business School in Paris. Zach is the John H. Muller Jr. Chair in Entrepreneurship at Babson College. Their paper, Valuing Failure, an experiment of VC reactions to an entrepreneur's record of business creation, has been published April 2022 in the Journal of Small Business Management. Welcome, Anna and Zach. Thank you. Thank you. Great, you can join me today. So to start with, can you please tell us where the idea for the paper came about? Yeah, sure. Uh, it came naturally with growing entrepreneurial ecosystem around us and a respective field experience. We just realized that uh, what uh, entrepreneurs fear most is failure. Even though failure is widespread with uh, more than 20% of uh, startups failing within uh, two years uh, and even more uh, within the first five years, up to half, most of entrepreneurs fear failure because a negative stigma might impact their future prospects. And uh, when Anna approached me about this project, I was really interested because Way back in 1999, I had a JS, JSBM paper on um, failure. And so it intrigued me. And um, I had I felt that there hadn't been a lot of work done on failure. And she was also using a lot of methods and techniques on decision making that I've used in many of my other research articles. And beyond this, we are curious to understand to understand uh, if failure is always perceived negatively, and if there are differences across us uh, uh, under some circumstances. And specifically, we realize that most research uh, has focused on success or study just failure very generally. And uh, we look personally at the combination of different entrepreneurial outcomes and how their interactions could impact investors' evaluation. Thank you both. That's really interesting. So in terms of the theoretical contribution, could you share the key takeaways? Yes, for sure. So first, uh, we, we find that uh, investors, specifically venture capitalist investors, make compensatory evaluations and uh, evaluate a given characteristic or attribute on a project or individually based relative to other factors. Uh, our finding also reveals that not only does failure uh, does not uh, you know, impede fundraising, but that under some circumstances, it could be an asset. So if you want to know under which circumstances exactly, I encourage you to read our paper. And uh, also interestingly, uh, uh, our study reveals that entrepreneurs who failed are better evaluated than novices. And more interestingly, investors prefer entrepreneurs who failed over entrepreneurs who have only a record of success. So interesting. Zach, would you like to add anything? No, I mean, I think uh, this plays into what we often read in the popular press, where investors often talk about, you know, I'd rather fund somebody who's had experience, even if it was a bad experience, as long as they learned from that. And so this somewhat supports that anecdotal evidence. And <clears throat> I think it's really interesting that um, VCs were uh, shying away from entrepreneurs who only had a record of success. And that may be attributed to the fact that the investors weren't, um, did, didn't believe that maybe those entrepreneurs would be hungry enough to work really hard. So the experience is really important. Um, as a final question, I wonder what are the key takeaways for policymakers and managers? 
Um, I'll, I'll start that off. I think the key takeaways for policymakers is that we need to continue to support the um, financing ecosystem and we need to encourage uh, both in public education and in higher ed um, training around making decisions and understanding that um, failure is often a good source of learning as long as it's handled in the correct way. Um, and then for practitioners, I think the really important thing is that if you're an entrepreneur and you've had some failure to not hide it. Hiding it is probably the worst thing you can do because ultimately with Google and whatnot, investors will find out about it anyways. But instead, um, entrepreneurs should present that failure and demonstrate what they've learned from it and how they're gonna use that experience to move new ventures forward. Yeah, I can I can only uh, uh, repeat uh, what uh, Zach said. That's just it's very important not to not to hide uh, when entrepreneurs have failure, but just to show how they can transfer the learning and capabilities acquired through the failure experience to future uh, pro prospects uh, and projects, and uh, and so. Uh, to show that uh, how they can bounce, bounce back from failure in a very pos positive and more motivated way. Fantastic. Are there any final thoughts or comments you would like to share with our community about the research? I would just add that uh, I think that uh, we had to explore more the circumstances under which failure could be an asset rather than a stigma. I think there are also cultural differences that could be very interesting and relevant to investigate because we can get that, for instance, in very different cultural patterns like Asia, it will be very different than the uh, entre entrepreneurs uh, friendly culture like uh, North America. So we can find very interesting uh, results and understanding. And uh, I would also say that rather than the word failure, I prefer the word trial because according to me in, on, in the entrepreneurial ecosystem, it's never a failure because they always learn and um, use the learning acquired. So I think it's better to speak of trial rather than a failure. Thank you both so much again for taking the time to share a bit more details and background about the research. I really enjoyed um, learning more about this interesting paper and I'm sure our viewers also are really interesting Anna, to understand really what are the drivers behind this. The full version of the paper is available at the Taylor and Francis website of the Journal of Small Business Management. And I really enjoyed um, listening to both of you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.